Santa Monica filtration drop 1.4 installation. This is the uh, next to the biggest drop. Uh, the biggest one is the 1.4 X, but physically it's the same size. And this is a very short video. We're just going to drop this uh, scrubber into this 75 gallon reef pond uh, just to show how easy it is to drop in and install. And we've already taken it out of the box and basic stuff, so that way I can just uh, show you how to um, how to position it. Alrighty, so um, when the hippo tank gets out of the way there, because he's the he's the most chicken of them all, I'm surprised he's coming out. I did throw a little food in there. We'll see who comes out for that kind of stuff. All right, so the drop 1.4, okay, is uh, the same size as the drop 0.6, 0.6x. 1.2, 1.2x, and the 1.4x. They're all the same physical size injection molded box. Uh, the bigger ones have this foot on the bottom, allows it to sit on the sand or to sit on the bottom of your all-in-one sump or what have you. Alrighty. So, but once you get it out of the box and you undo the cord, basically you're going to have this. And uh, this is the shade material. You definitely want to leave this inside when you're starting it. This black material is going to absorb light. You cannot have too much light when you're starting out a new scrubber of any kind because uh, it just won't grow. It'll stay completely white, especially with all the white surfaces here. So uh, you just want to take off the little, take off the little paper clip here, and I'm going to install that here in just one second. Uh, but first, just to show you, the Drop 1.4 has the green grabber materials all the way around, including on the door, so it has the most space covered and it has the air tubing going all the way around with four air tubing slots. Uh, I'll show you the bubbles in just one second. And it has the strings for three-dimensional growth on the inside. Um, so it has five LEDs. I don't know if you can see them, but they're one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and just to show you the LEDs on, there they are. Okay, so we don't need to have that right now. So, I have uh, installed already the Fusion 700 air pump, and um, it's connected. I'll give you a close-up of that in a second. But let's just put this in the water and uh, get some bubbles going. <clears throat> and I'll hold the camera with one hand and just try to show you. Basically, what you do, you put your shade material in there and close it, and you suspend it by the airline. Don't suspend it by the electric wire, of course. That's uh, you don't want to put strain on the electric wire, but uh, suspended by this, and I'll show you a close-up of the top part here. I just loop it through one time, and it makes it a nice little adjustable thing, all right? So basically, uh, let's drop this in the water. I'm going to show you the bubbles with a flashlight, and then we'll zoom in a little bit on it. Okay, so you have bubbles coming out of all four sides there. And um, so let's get the camera a little bit closer. Alrighty. So the right now there's bubbles coming out of all the sides, and uh, the air pump, which is right here, the fusion, has the both outlets combined into one, and that when we sell this pump, those little combination fittings right there is included. Okay, so it comes down here, and uh, right now it's on low, but let's turn up the bubbles halfway. Now the bubbles are halfway. Alrighty, so, there we go. I'm gonna install this so the top part is out of the water. Right here where my finger's at, the top part's gonna be out of the water and that's going to remove all the bubbles and um, salt spray from this. So let's just, um, hold on one second, let me put in the, let me put in the black, there we go. Okay, so I've installed the black, the uh, light shield there, and now let's just close this and let it uh, fill up with water. And it's just going to kind of dangle and it's going to go down Obviously, if you leave the door open, it will fill up much faster, but I only have one hand here. Now I have a circular flow going on in here, going one direction. 
So it's kind of pushing this sideways. <clears throat> That's fine with me. Now I'm going to raise this. I'm going to raise this line here, this airline, to make it just out of the water a little bit, and I'll show you how it how I do that. As you can see, it's bubbling right now, but up here, right here, you simply have the tubing comes up and it just circles once around this and then goes to the air pump. So the tubing comes up, goes once through here and then goes to the air pump. So basically, I'm going to pull up on the air tubing just a little bit and there we go, the bubble stopped. So just adjust this right here. There we go. No more bubbles, just a little bit. Let me do that a little bit more. Okay, so there's your position. Even at full power, there's a lot of air coming out of the hole on the drop. But I think halfway is just about fine. All right, so now let's just plug it in. Of course, you're going to plug it in yours on, with a timer. But uh, let me just plug that right there. And that's it. That's the only light you're going to see is that little one hole in the top. And that's just about it. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit more. There we go. There's the top part right out of the water, and that's how you remove the bubbles and you keep it silent. You can position it however you want to. You can use a little clamp or tie something to it. You can maybe suspend it right here with something through this. But generally, just hanging the airline over something is all you need to do. So I'll post some follow-up growth pictures day by day, and harvest by harvest and whatnot, just to kind of show you how this is going. Uh, this 75-gallon reef pond already has a, uh, there's a surf two there, and there's a surf four. I'm sorry, that's a surf, uh, yeah, four there. And over on the other side over there is a surf eight. So there's already already some stuff going, but it'll be fun to watch this thing grow in salt water because the last video was in fresh water. Alrighty, so uh, thank you. Hope you enjoy your Santa Monica filtration drop 1.4.